Scotty Sanders here. So I want to talk to you about learning correlations to earning. That's got a nice little ring to it, but how does the things that we learn correlate to our ability to earn? So I'm fairly certain that most people would like to have an increase in what they earn. That's just my guess. I'm thinking that might be you. Two factors that really hold people back are overwhelm and continued learning. See, when you're overwhelmed, you are in this survival mode. You're just trying to get through the day. You're just trying to move on and how can I focus on getting things done and get through the day and you make all kinds of bad decisions because of that. Uh, so with that, you may want to consider my Life on the 3x5 success framework that helps people with overwhelm. It moves you from this overwhelmed, overworked, over your head, under resource to now you are experiencing better freedom, more peace, more margin, and more productivity. See, learning is a different animal altogether though. That is what I'm going to share with you in this video. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about how your learning correlates to your earning, okay? So I believe you increase the potential of your earnings by the amount of time you spend learning, okay? A lot of people, once they get their, whatever their uh, final degree is, their, their formal degree, if it's getting a high school or college or a master's degree, they tend to stop learning after that thing. I'm there, I've arrived, and that is a huge mistake. So I wanna to talk to you about ways learning correlates to earnings. Here's one, learning multiplies time. Spending an hour learning can be worth five times out about 10 times in the future. I typically spend 10 hours a week in learning and I really believe it multiplies time for me. Here's another one, learning adds new skills which makes you even more valuable. So, so you may learn on how to do, it may be a new language or some new technology thing, and that will make you more valuable for someone that may wanna hire you or even at your present job. Here's the third one. Learning increases your confidence. We all know that. We can go back when we used to take tests. When we were prepared to take a test in school, our confidence level was so much higher, higher than it would be. So learning increases that confidence. If it's for an interview or you're, you're presenting to an organization or you're, you're leading a, a team, your, your confidence level will go up when you're up to speed and you're learning. Here's the fourth one. Learning keeps you relevant. I know we don't like to hear that a lot, but man, we can become very obsolete pretty quick. So don't become that person with one year's experience repeated over 15 years. And then here's the last one. Learning can easily translate into developing versus doing. What I've found through the years, when you become a developer, when you've learned and you've grown, now you can pour into others and you're developing them, your value, your earning capacity goes way up versus someone that's just a doer. Well, listen, I hope this has helped you in this area. The main reason people don't spend time learning is that they are in this state of overwhelm. It's like, how can I possibly think about learning when I'm just trying to keep my head above water? But would you like to conquer overwhelm? If you would, make sure you go to mylifeonthe3x5.com and check out my digital course that will absolutely help you to curtail and neutralize overwhelm in your life that your earnings now will go up. It will more than pay for 10 times what you invest in that. So you may want to check that out. But listen, until next time, live well and lead well.